Hi everyone, I'm George Crocker with University Advancement. I'm here with... Jamie Klinger, host, the director for the School of Theater and Dance and the artistic director for ECU Locine Playhouse. And we have some really exciting news for the folks who are watching today. We wanted to let them know, in case you missed it on Friday, uh, we are extending our summer theater crowdfunding project. We're very, very excited. We've had over 30 donors and uh, we're, we're hedging towards our goal, but we need, we need your assistance to get there. We definitely do, folks. We have such exciting news about this crowdfunding project being extended. We have a donor who has promised that they will give us $5,000 if we can reach $25,000. That will hit our $30,000 goal overall. How exciting is that, Jamie? This is very exciting, and it provides opportunities for, for many of our alumni equity actors who um, lost contracts because of shuttered theaters. Uh, and the, the students are thrilled. Our faculty are really excited. Um, and we just can't wait to bring the community back into McGinnis Theater for a summer theater production. Uh, it's been forever since we had a summer theater. How long has it been, Jamie? It's been far too long. I think around 2009 is when funding started to wane from the university, and I think the last show might have been in 2012, 2013. That sounds about right to me during my research. You know, I can remember being much younger than I am now, back in the mid-80s, and really big-name stars would come here to McGinnis Theater to perform in summer theater. I think Laura Linney Absolutely. was one, Michael Learned, you might remember her from the Waltons, uh, Kim Zimmer and Jerry Verdorn, who were from The Guiding Light, for anybody who watched soap operas with their grandmas as a, as a child, like I did. Uh, they, they were big-name talent back then, and still are today. And uh, they were right here in Greenville performing on the stage here at McGinnis. We'd like to bring folks like that back to McGinnis Absolutely. for summer theater. And, uh, you know, I did a piece just recently, Jamie, where we talked about how little donations can make a big difference. I think, what was it, $25 would print a program? Absolutely. And uh, it was $2,000, I think, to sponsor an actor. Mm -hmm. And someone asked me, Jamie, they said, what does that mean to sponsor an actor? But I, I guess we just kind of answered it, bringing in people like Michael Learned and Laura Linney. Uh, of course, back then, that was kind of, for Laura Linney, I guess, the beginning of her career. Um, but $2,000 will still sponsor a big actor to come here to Greenville. Absolutely. It helps pay the contract, and it helps us provide housing for them. Um, while they're here in Greenville. Tell me about uh, costuming because, you know, we had a piece that $50 would cover maybe a, a prop, I think it was, mm -hmm. and then $250 would cover the cost of an entire costume. Costumes aren't cheap. No, they're not cheap, and that's a generalization. Some costumes cost more than others, obviously, when they're bought or built, um, And uh, but 250 helps us basically cover, if we average all the costs for costuming for the production, um, it, it helps us costume one, one actor. Yeah, so, I mean, your donation can make a big difference, folks, whether it's uh, $25 for a program, $50 for a prop, uh, $250 for an average for a complete costume, or even $2,000 to help sponsor an actor and bring them right here to Greenville and to perform on the stage in our next summer theater production. And we really, really need your help to make that happen. So if you can, we, we really would like for you to give. I know for me, Jamie, this is very personal. You know, I came to ECU to study theater and uh, life kind of took me in a different direction. I never had that opportunity to perform on stage. And uh, for me, it's very personal because I want these kids, uh, these young actors and actresses and dancers to have that opportunity to get up on the stage uh, and really launch their career. And we can make the difference. We can make that happen Absolutely. for them. Absolutely, we certainly can. And it does, it, um, we've had many alumni speak to how doing summer theater gave them the confidence because they had the opportunity to work backstage with equity actors and professionals that were well known. Um, and it gave them a network of support once they went to New York or Los Angeles or the next chapter of their careers, that it really gave them um, the ability to move forward and be successful. So we, we do hope to do that again for this next generation. Yeah, and it's a source of pride for ECU also because I think a lot of people, when they think of uh, cultural impact, it starts right here in Greenville. There are wonderful actors all across eastern North Carolina who perform in different uh, uh, playhouses uh, across the east, mm -hmm. but right here in Greenville, it happens every year, every month. 
Absolutely, absolutely. We're really excited to be able to do that again in, in June, in the summer months. Yeah, that, it, it would be incredible. So we ask, please, that you give, uh, that you share this message with everyone that you know uh, that loves summer theater and just loves theater and dance in general. We want to get that word out to their networks, to your networks, and we want to encourage everyone to please uh, go to give.ecu.edu slash summer theater campaign. That's the web address where you can go and you can give right now and that you can help bring summer theater right back to, to McGinnis Theater. Absolutely. Thank you so much, everybody. We really appreciate every single donation and every single act of support, which is sharing this link and sharing this information to help garner even more support. And Jamie, let's tell folks, uh, I'm going to step out of the way so they can kind of see behind me. We're in the Hal Binkley Gallery, gallery, is that right? Absolutely. And yeah. Hal Binkley, for you folks who don't know, Jamie's going to tell you a little bit about Hal Binkley and who he is, who he was. He's one of our famous alumni. Uh, we have many famous alumni because our, our kids just really excel and skyrocket to the next level of a professional career. And Hal Binkley was a Tony Award-winning lighting designer. Uh, these are some of the Holly, uh, Broadway posters. Um, that he was, uh, he gifted to us and his widow gifted to us um, after his passing and we are just so honored to, to um, preserve them and showcase them in our hallway to help inspire our, our current students, our current undergraduates and uh, continue to tell his story uh, and show them the heights to which they can grow to in, in their professional careers. That's right and we want folks to come and see this. If you're here in Greenville we'd love for you to come and look at the Hal Binkley Gallery. Uh, Hal Binkley is I guess most well known recently in, in recent history for Hamilton. Uh, he was the lighting director for Hamilton, yeah, is that for right? Yeah, the Broadway show as well as the movie. That's awesome. I mean, that's incredible. Hamilton, you know, was such a phenomenon uh, a couple of years ago, really, in the past year or so. Um, and Hal Binkley, he's one of us. He's a pirate. I mean, yeah. he, he was a pirate, and he gifted this to ECU, and we want all of you to come see it, and we want all of you to help support uh, our future uh, pirate actors, actresses, and dancers. Uh, you can make the difference, and I'm going to borrow a line from Sabrina Bingle a couple of years ago uh, for Pirate Nation Give. She said, give. Give with your heart. Give with your purple and gold. Go Pirates.